This is Margot Morris. On a Tuesday afternoon, around three o'clock, Margot was behind the bushes just off her main street, standing in an assortment of household items. These being three unopened jars of sand hurt pickled cucumbers, one packet of sweet chili and sour cream kettle chips, an unused tub of Australian made hand wash, a thick book dedicated to BBC's Doctor Who, two boxes of Dine's cat food. Margot Morris does not and never has owned a cat, or any pet for that matter, a lavender scented relax candle, a half empty bottle of lemon juice, a pile of note paper made by the Daily Telegraph, and a black clip briefcase that we can only guess to be filled with important and top secret files. The reasoning behind why she was stood in these bushes with those utterly random items is actually relatively simple. That morning, stood in her kitchen making breakfast, Margot had had the sudden feeling that life was going to abruptly end sometime around lunchtime that day, most likely by an object falling from the sky. As anyone would, Margot's immediate thoughts went to Luckily, Margot had built a secret underground bunker in the bushes just off her street a few years prior and had quickly begun stocking up on her essential items for a life underground. We still do not, and really have absolutely no idea why, she took the odd things that she did. But instead of investigating further, we have put it down to her just being a very peculiar person. Margot was not exceptionally close to her family, and thought that friends were a liability in life. So she had no reason to warn anyone else of the nearing prospect of the end of the world. Besides, there was only room for one in her bunker. Gerald Booker was one of her less preferred neighbours, who insisted on wearing outdated clothing and drawing a little moustache on his upper lip in an attempt to look older than he actually was. He was an irritating human being at best. What happens next is undoubtedly very sad and simultaneously very unlucky. I'm sure you can guess what happened, as it was a particularly windy day and the tree branches above her were not incredibly sturdy and unbreakable. The sad truth of the matter simply is, Margot Morris predicted that life would end that day, yet she did not take into account the possibility that it was not everyone's life, but solely hers, that would tragically come to an end.